Hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my cartoon and building episodes. I have finished the giveaway. Um, I just want to get this out. Uh, the giveaway is finished. I've contacted the two winners. Uh, I will put up a video naming the winners, but for now, I'm just going to keep it under wraps. Um, and I've emailed the two win uh, winners. Um, I already gave away the Xbox Live code already because, well, I got a reply, reply straight away. I'm just waiting for the graphics card. Um, person to come back and I think the giveaway should be all over so thanks to everyone that joined those uh, it's been fun um, and gave it away to someone that hopefully uses the stuff um, and enjoys it so on to this below leave a comment with what car you want to see next episode thank you for all the comments it's crazy I, like everyone's getting annoyed because I'm not picking them but it is the one that you vote up the most so if you see a comment um, just vote it up if you like the look of it. So below, just leave a comment with what car you want to see next episode. And if you see one that you like, just thumbs it up. Um, and yeah, make sure it's rear-wheel drive. Of course, I don't drift all-wheel drive. I've seen a lot of all-wheel drive cars in here. Um, so that's that. And yeah, onto the car that's right there, the Ford Escort RS Cosworth. I got told to make it look a little bit chavvy. Um, I mean, I tried my best, but... Yeah, that's what I came up with. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you haven't seen it, I uh, recommend you go check it out. Uh, but on to the next car. Um, Dr. Drift HD has come in with another top rated comment. Um, he said, do a Fiat 131 stance and stealth. Stance and stealth. I uh, can't, I don't get it. Like, stance, but then you want it to be stealthy as well. Um, maybe if I just make it stance and make it, like blacked out does that make it look stealth um, I don't know so let's grab the car and see what happens there it is Fiat don't worry don't worry I found it up above how did I not think of this brain please that, that's that's quite nice Fiat 131 very nice um, so that's that uh, <laughs> sorry my little derp there uh, luckily I remembered oh so make it look stealth. There's a nice black paint. That's good. Slap that on so it saves me painting it. Yeah. Looks a bit matte black as well. So that's pretty pretty cool little look. Um, but yeah. That's that. Um, luckily I found it. Luckily I didn't derp too much. <laughs> uh, but we got there. So taking a while to save. As usual. Um, trying to think how to stealth this car anymore. Uh, because obviously... Stealth, it either means kind of like a sleeper, kind of like a standard, or because they want it stanced, I can't hey, really stance try. a sleeper, so I think black's the only way we're going to make this stealth, so that's that. Um, engine swap. I could go with an engine swap, but I'm kind of tempted to stick with this engine, to be fair. Um, it's, it's only got 140 horsepower, we could see what we could get out of this engine. Uh, I don't know what engine this is. I should I should really look this up before I start these episodes, especially with cars like a Fiat 131 where I just to be honest, I have no idea what engine this is. Um, I'm going to slap the turbocharger in because basically 140 horsepower is pretty low, so it's good like that. I just want to see what the weight is. 987 kilos. What? That's madness. That is so light. So with weight, uh, race weight reduction as well that is going to look apps that that's going to be absolutely light as m madness mad so let's stick with the stock tire compound uh tire whips let's go 225s on the front and hopefully uh, 225s on the rear that'll do that'll do fine okay so on to rims I'm trying to think what'll look nice on this maybe like these specialist kind of rims I think they will look quite nice. The ATS on, ATS is on here. So I just have a quick look through, but I've got a feeling that ATS is going to be the best pick here. Yeah, I think the ATS is going to be the best wheels to use. Yeah, let's go back to those those wheels. Um, I don't know why the, the blackness of them kind of goes with the car very well. I just noticed like the underneath of the car changes. Like if you watch those back um wishbones and stuff, like I never noticed that before. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you learn something new every day. So that's that. Uh 
wheels are done. Uh, we could change the sizes up. We want it stance, so we want a nice fitting rim. We don't want to go too big like that. Uh, so let's just go 17s, one size down from the maximum. Uh, obviously, trying to stance this out is going to be a little bit hard, uh, seeing as I don't know how the race uh, suspension will drop this, but we're going to try our best. Um, Forza don't have these options, so we can only try. Um, everything in drivetrains is going to be a race, so just go through and do this. Uh, just put everything racing here. We want to be able to adjust those, um, adjust the gears. We want to adjust the differentials. So we want everything racing there, as that. Okay, platform and handling. I think everything in here is going to be race too. So you can just speed through and do everything race. Um, in terms of starts in the car, it's not gone very well. Um, the race suspension has not gone very low, but uh, it look doesn't look too bad. Uh, we could stick with this. Just imagine it's stanced. <laughs> Forza doesn't let you stance it any more than that, so that's that. Um, I just full on derped at the start of the video, didn't I? <laughs> imagine if I didn't choose it, everyone would be going mad. Um, luckily, it just popped into my head to uh, check the start, um, and I managed to um, just stumble across it. <laughs> so, yeah, onto the engine. Only weighs 800 kilos. Uh, so I'm feeling about 300 horsepower is going to be absolutely sufficient. So another horse 100 horsepower out of this car. Uh, camshaft should do that. Yep, nearly there. Um, so let's just do intercooler and oil and cooling. And we should be pretty close. 287 horsepower. Uh, you might as well just go over the 300 mark to about three, 310 around there. Uh, so let's see if we can upgrade the turbo so that puts us to 317 about the mark I just said so let's slap that on and I think that's going to be the upgrades we want so let's jump out into free roam sorry I couldn't start the car any more than this because um, that's pretty much as much as we're going to get out of this car you have some wheel spins available I have some wheel spins available thank her Okay, it feels very loose on the steering on the front. But I kind of like that. It's got a nice feeling about it. Okay. The steering's a lot different to all my other cars, not gonna lie. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to adjust the steering to be a little bit more. A little bit more. Um, grippier. We gotta adjust gear 3. And yeah, let's, let's adjust it here. Why not? Uh, let's stop in the middle of a road. Okay. Alright, tune in the car. Um, need to grip up the front a lot. I'm going to leave... Uh, I'm going to take the front up a bit, to be fair. Felt a little bit grippy. Um, so the gearing can come right down. Look how long that is. Especially for such a small horsepower engine. Why are you so long? So four um, on the ratio. Uh, I've got a feeling I'm going to need a little bit of camber in this car. Obviously being quite low powered, obviously it doesn't weigh a lot, but we still want to get those tyres spinning particularly easy, so cast up, go to 5.5, sorry I nearly burped then, I held it in, uh, rear up to match the front, so I like my car's quite stiff, so I'm going to take this up uh, towards more of the stiffiness, yeah, stiffiness, um, ride height, you know what to do there, everything to the bottom, slab it, and rebound, we could go a little bit stiffer to be fair. And bump stiffness is about fine, so there we go. Differential 100%, 100%. Get those wheels spinning, lock that differential, yo. And that should be that. Okay, let's go. Oh god, there's a car. Why is there so many cars? I just want to enter this corner right here. Okay, the front grip feels so much better. Oh wow, that felt really good through that corner. Oh god, that was the worst entry ever. I just feel like the gearing's gone a bit too short. 
Oh, okay, that's a good that's a good time to change. <laughs> I just feel like the gearing's gone a bit too short. Um, I'm just bouncing off the limiter a bit too much. So let's just go back that other way. Not too far because it does feel fine. It just feels a little bit too short. Um, I'm gonna up the camber in this car. Just not enough uh, wheel spin in the rear. So let's do that. Feels fine in the front to be fair. Uh, so let's just adjust that. Oh god. Oh, missed the car. No, no. Oh. <laughs> God's sake, why is there so many cars down this road today? Okay. I think I'm going to have to take the gearing back um, a little bit shorter again. It's just bogging down in gear 3. It's a lot better with this longer gearing because you can make longer corners like that, kind of <laughs> hit the wall a little bit, uh, but then it bogs down in the shorter corners, so yeah, um, let's take down the camber a tiny bit in the rear, I think I just went a bit too far, just a tiny bit, um, gear in can go towards the shortness again, that would be fine, and let's just try that now. Uh, with the short gears plus the um, plus the little bit more camber than last time. Okay, it made it that time. Oh god. Oh wow. Oh my god, that was my fault. That car just completely mashed me up. Okay, this car's actually feeling pretty nice to be fair. Um, it hasn't got the most amount of power, but I kind of don't need it. You leveled up. And it's got a short wheelbase, so it's not the most stable car ever. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Why you do this? Why you do this to me? Okay, that's fine. Um, the problem for me is the gearing. I can't seem to get the gearing fine. If you know what I mean. Um, I think it's more to do with the fact that I can't get the, the rear tyre spinning as much. But I think that's more to do with the power as well. That's the, all, all the fun with this car. Um, you got to try and slide it. Um, it's more effort to slide. Uh, I kind of enjoy cars like that a little bit more now than having just overpowered cars that just slide easy. I'd rather have these underpowered cars that just get, require that a little bit more effort. You got to really go from transition to transition. You got to throw the car about. I prefer that now. Um, I used to be all about power, um, power, but now I'm I'm lowering the powers. Powers is going down. What if we go up into gear 4 for this corner? Okay, it made it round that corner a little bit better. So there might be some gear changing needed in this car. Say if you're going up to a longer corner, you might need to change the gear 4. Kind of kind of like that. Um, but what I am going to do is make gear 4 just, just a tiny bit shorter. Um, just so we don't lose that tyre spin. Because uh, when I'm switching up, it's bogging down just a tiny bit. The tyres the are still spinning. Uh, but it's just bogging down just that tiny bit. So let's make that a little bit shorter. And then that should be a lot better when we switch up. Um, so let's try this now. Uh, the rain is coming down. The once an episode rain. There we go. Gear 4 is for those long corners. Perfect. Can you put my lights on please? 
can you please put my lights on? Thank you. Oh god, why did I do that for? Um, obviously, when you're in the rain, it gets a little bit slippier. I do say this like every single episode, but yeah, some people don't get to grip that. So I just thought I'd say it every single time. Uh, but yeah, this car's feeling feeling pretty nice. Uh, obviously, in the rain, it's a little bit slippier. So if I do spin out now, um, it's more me being an absolute dirt than than the car. So oh my god, so much traffic around this area today. So yeah, this car actually feels quite stable for a very short wheelbase car. It feels very stable, so that's good. Um, hopefully no traffic this time. We'll just drift around you like an absolute boss. Oh, yes. So yeah, gear four for those longer corners. And then just go down into gear three. It'll be able to handle the shorter corners and it shouldn't bog down into gear. Um, you shouldn't have to switch down into gear two. And it should not bog down in gear 3 pulling out of the corner. So I've sorted out the gearing. And obviously gearing is a big, big part of what I normally tune to be fair. Um, obviously I, I don't like drifting in other, other gears to be honest. But when you're in a when you're in a um, underpowered car like this. Obviously it doesn't weigh a lot. But when you're in an underpowered car like this. It is a struggle to not change gears. So I've just tuned up gear 4 just to help us for those longer longer corners. Uh, but yeah, this car's feeling absolutely amazing. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, leave a comment below with what car you want to see next episode. Um, and thumbs up any if you see any that um, you like the fancy of. Because uh, the most thumbs up will get chosen. So that's that. I'm going to update this tune onto the storefront right now. Uh, for you guys to download if you don't want to copy down the tune. So let's just upload it right now. Right here, right now. Um, and yeah, I'm really enjoying doing this every single day and it seems like you guys are enjoying it as well Getting a lot of feedback getting a lot of likes and it's all good. It's all good. So thank you for the support on this And it's already the 13th of December, which is absolutely insane to be fair. Where is this month going? So Let's put drift um, Best for handling and share that so that is now on the storefront Just search by game attack Which is Kevin Toll the same as my YouTube and that should all come up. So that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.